morning we're about to start a case uh, an implant case on navigation uh, this is a patient that's missing a tooth on the left lower jaw uh, she had a tooth extracted and bone grafted eight weeks ago when she's about ready to replace that tooth and she had chosen to do so with a dental implant with the technology that we have in the office nowadays, we're very precise in positioning the implant and we actually do the procedure before going into the patient's mouth. We're gonna be using some guided surgery, computerly based uh, planning and execution. Uh, the advantages of doing that, it's basically you do the surgery before going to the patient, you can plan everything accordingly, you can avoid important anatomic stru structures, like in this case we have a nerve, and you can position the implant in a very accurate manner. Uh, in terms of fulfilling the procedure, uh, we're gonna be doing a minimal invasive type of uh, a surgery by not making any incisions nor suturing. Uh, everything is gonna be done with a technique that we call a minimally invasive surgery. Let's look at the planning a little bit. Basically, the screen is divided into five different positions. Uh, this one corresponds to implant site number 19, which is the tooth number. This is the size of the implant that I had chosen, which is a 4.1 by 12 millimeters in length. It's a tapered implant. The top right corresponds to the three-dimensional reconstruction where we can identify it in a very accurate manner the nerve that we want to avoid at the time of surgery. The blue component is the future implant. And we had superimposed the x-ray with the clinical photographs so we can actually determine the position of the implant and plan the final crown that's going to go on top of the implant in a very accurate manner. I can eliminate the presence of those dental photographs and we can appreciate the way the implant is going to come through the patient's absent tooth. We go to the left side, we have different views of the position of the implant. You can see the distance in between the teeth and the actual feature. You can see the depth. You can evaluate the anatomy. This patient presents a concavity on the back portion of the jaw and you can avoid having accidents by perforating into the floor of the mouth in the area marked here. You can change the angle, the parallelism in between teeth, and the actual distance in between the implant, the posterior tooth, and the anterior tooth. We're gonna be performing this procedure under local anesthesia, and this specific patient wants to get sedation for the case.